In this video, you will learn how to use the charting procedure across multiple columns within StatCrunch. The data set I'm using is called pairwise counts for two categorical variables. This consists of a contingency table loaded directly into the StatCrunch data table. The table shows six values of A that are paired with four values of C and two values of D. The four B values are paired with two values of C and two values of D. The charting procedure is a flexible charting tool designed to work with data in a variety of numerical formats, including the summary form of this data set. To construct a bar chart of the summary counts, under graph, choose chart by columns. We're going to select the C and the D columns. To do so, you're going to hold down Command on a Mac or Control on a PC to select both the C and the D columns. In the Row Labels inbox, choose the VAR1 column. Click Compute. The resulting chart shows the bar labels drawn on the y-axis with the bars drawn horizontally to the appropriate values. The legend indicates the red bars show the values for the C column and the blue bars show the values for the D column. Instead of displaying the bars horizontally, StackCrunch also provides the user the option to stack the bars vertically. Under the Options menu, choose Edit. This takes us back to the original window where we built our chart. In this window, StatCrunch allows the user to customize their chart. Under the plot box, you will notice a variety of different options. For this example, I will choose vertical bars stacked. I'll click compute. The resulting chart now shows the bar labels drawn on the x-axis with the stacked bars drawn vertically. 